Okay, and here we are for the with the rules and rolls for chapter three, part four, which was an interesting fight. I actually I quite enjoyed it. Uh, wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but uh, as you've noticed from my dead pile over here, uh, Gunnar was taken out, and he better not die or I'll kill him. Uh, first up, we have uh, rival status to roll, which. It's on a uh, one or two, I believe. Am I thinking of the right patron? Am I absolutely going nuts? I might be going nuts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, no, okay. So on a one or two, uh, I get um, Roid Gangers at arrival. And in case you were wondering, if you watched the uh, rules before, yes, I did realize halfway through the game I forgot to roll rivals for um, uh, this game. So. Eh, but a bit of, yes, we have Roid Gangers and Regular Gangers as rivals. Awesome. Exactly what you want to see that, just getting a lot of people who hate me. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, no, they are still going to go, but it wasn't a hot job. I. Looking at the wrong contract there. Uh, <laughs> resolve the patron status. I have been patroned. Um, okay. Getting paid. D6 plus two. Eight credits. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I needed that. Uh <laughs> I think it, I really want to start saving up some cash so I can start upgrading the robots. But I want to upgrade both the robots at the same time because I'm insane. So <laughs> I need twice as much of the um, uh, relevant cash, which is a lot. Uh, on the other hand, the battlefield fines, uh, I get 55 personal trinket. Oh! We can actually use this one. Uh, personal trinkets. Um, on each planet you visit in future, roll 2d6. On a 9+, plus, you find the owner and receive a loot roll as payment. Hey! <laughs> We've got about six of these in the first campaign with the with me Hulk going, I'm never going to move planets. Or, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. I am actually very happy about this. Oh my god, why am I shaking camera so much? Stay. Stay. Um, next up, we have our loot rows. Get two of them because we have company stores. First up, that is 57. That is 57 is gear. Ooh, are we actually going to get some goddamn armor? Uh, <laughs> 21. Uh, no, it's a gun sight. Uh, the gun sight is 47. A seeker. What the hell is a seeker sight? I will look that up in a second. The other loot roll is 62. Also gear. That is 38. Two gun sights. Uh, that is 63. That's two... Okay, I'm going to look this up. What's a Seeker site do? Oh, this was a smart thing to do midway through a... I don't know, but I'm really, really interested now. Um, see, this is one of the reasons why I didn't film the thing. <laughs> Ooh! Plus one to hit if the shooter doesn't move this round. I know two people who are very interested in this because they are team snipers. Yeah, move not moving is great. Yeah, I go down for that. Uh, if Gunner survives, because uh, Gunner got injured, I do have my um, stars of the story to back him up if I need to. But uh, his injury roll is oh, his injury roll is gruesome fate. Okay, <laughs> that's he's dead and loses all um, all his equipment is damaged. Right. Um, I'm so glad I mentioned the stars of the story. I'm going to have to um, quickly look up 
what that does, whether it's a re-roll or whether I think I just count it as fine, but I'm going to have to check. Okay, yes, uh, the uh, start of the story is looks worse than it was, and I can't look much, can't be much worse. Um, but yeah, it treats as fully recovered for the purposes of the thing. Thank Christ, I didn't want to have to recruit more people. You don't get to die again. Um, thing is, I've been thinking about this one, and it's going to come out more in the longer campaign, and I've still got to start doing the 50s and stuff, uh, 50, you know, 50 campaign missions, 100 campaign missions. It's going to come to the point where the difficulty comes from the fact that the resources are going to start running low. Like, I have that once. I cannot do that again. <laughs> If any of my guys get taken out, there is a 5% chance that they will just explode and lose all of their gear. <laughs> um, I see a 15% chance each time they're bought, taken out that they die, which is uh, actually not great. I'm kind of shocked no one died so far. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cool. Uh, that's our. Um, yeah, that's what that's that resource gone. Cool, cool. I'm glad about that. Um, I mean, happier news. Um, I've given Deirdre the MVP um, story point because she goddamn earned it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Deirdre gets seven XP. Everyone else gets three, but that's put. Uh, Lizzie, Deirdre, and Gunnar over the edge of getting the next point of combat. Um, like, yeah, the the team is getting pretty good in a fight already, which is very nice. But yeah, just again, I'm I'm that's got me panicked now. <laughs> I'm going to give um Gunnar and Deirdre seeker sights as well, so they can just sit at the back with their auto rifles. <laughs> Um, I don't want you to die. I painted you specially to be my uh, fifth, my seventh member. Boo. Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, they, they didn't die. That's the important part. And next up, we have our campaign event. Ooh. Our campaign event is 57. Oh, interesting. The crew has decided it's time for a new person to be in charge. Select a crew member to be the new captain. They immediately receive 3 XP. Roll a D6 on a 1. The old captain leaves permanently, taking any carried items with them. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Let's see, Deirdre's the best fighter. But, narratively, Lizzie makes the most sense. Um, Because Liz, Lizzie's the one who actually, like, does the, um, like, she's, like, the financier. She's the one, she owns the ship. Yeah, I am going to say... Lizzie is the new captain. Um, and... Oh, please don't leave, Javier. <laughs> please. Oh, thank God. Uh, that one scared the piss out of me. Um, as for the character events, uh, rolling... Uh, Reroll the six, that's four. Oh, Javier is getting a character event as well. Um... 39 it's all it's all go this uh, this campaign they don't um, I'm a little on the side to receive plus two credits so we get 10 credits out of this but Javier is no longer the leader of course all that means now is that Javier can theoretically leave while um have about while Lizzie um can't the leader cannot leave the um leave the crew 
yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. Yeah, I think yeah, Lizzie owns the ship. Um I think Javier is probably gonna be happier just like running in and fighting like he's got his shotgun, he's got his glare sword, which he's never had to use because melee in this game is basically <laughs> the last resort. But yeah, um oh that was interesting. That was very, very interesting. Um time to put that up as a narrative thing on the actual um uh, game video. Awesome.